Thanks for coming back to Pocket Ronnie. We are going to be doing, in the world of math, you are not allowed to have radicals in the denominator. Radicals in the denominator is a big no-no, so you have to get rid of the radicals in the denominator. The way you get rid of the radicals in, in the denominator is just to multiply the radical by itself. So. To get rid of the square root of 3, I have to multiply it by the square root of 3. In the world of math, when you're dealing with fractions, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. Because essentially, you're multiplying by 1. Square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1. So, multiplying fractions, you just multiply across. 6 times square root of 3, remember multiplying, it's numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals. So this just becomes 6 square root of 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Now we simplify radicals. Always simplify radicals because the square root of 9 is 3. Our numerator does not change. Square root of 9 is 3. Always reduce fractions, okay? Remember, you're doing whole numbers to whole numbers, radicals to radicals. You can see that you can reduce 6 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and your radical stays there. So when we get rid of the denominator in the, the radical in the denominator, 6 over square root of 3 is the same thing as 2 times square root of 3. If you want to prove that in your calculator, you can put 6 divided by square root of 3, then you can do 2 times square root of 3, and they should come up with the same decimal number. Okay, that was 19A3. Now let's jump down to 19B3. Again, you cannot have radicals in the denominator. To get rid of the radical in the denominator, you multiply it by itself. Square root of 6 times square root of 6. Because when you do this, this becomes square root of 36, and 36 is a perfect square, which, give, which gives you a whole number. Whatever, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do the numerator. Now we're multiplying fractions, so you just multiply numerator to numerator. 12 times square root of 6 is 12 times square root of 6. Denominator to denominator, square root of 6 times square root of 6 is square root of 36. Now we simplify the radicals. Square root of 6 does not simplify any more than that, so we leave that. Square root of 36 is 6. Always reduce fractions. You can see that 12, 6 will reduce. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and square root of 6 does not simplify any more than that. If you can't remember how to simplify radicals, go to the video on simplifying radicals. Alright, now let's look at 19C3. You have to get rid of the radical in the denominator. So you do that by multiplying it by itself. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. Okay, multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators across and you multiply the denominators across. Remember, numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals. The number in front of the square root of 3 is like a 1. So it's like 6 times 1 is 6. Square root of 2 times square root of 3, square root of 6. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, square root of 9. Now you simplify radicals. <clears throat> square root of 6 does not simplify any more than that. So we leave 6 square root of 6. Square root of 9 is 3. Now you reduce your whole numbers. Six will divide, 3 will divide into 6. That would be 2 square root of 6. And square root of 6 does not simplify any more than that. So you leave it as 2 square root of 6. Okay, 